comedian Jordan Klepper was across town. He was hosting another event during the Correspondents Dinner. He was interviewing Bill and Hillary Clinton right there on stage. Uh, and there was some news that we'll get to in a moment. Uh, Klepper is the host of the new Comedy Central series, Klepper. It's coming out on May 9th, and he's here with me now. Jordan, what about that idea that the comedians are serious and the politicians are a joke? Uh, is comedy kind of dead in the Trump age? How do you view it? <laughs> I don't think comedy is dead. No? I think comedians can be serious. I think the world can understand that comedians can be multiple things. They're not just clowns who are going to dance around. They are that. They are clowns and they will reference their genitalia more than ever uh, the average person. <laughs> but they're also humans responding to an, an, an odd time in our history. And so I think like I, I think Trump has changed the way uh, our whole culture uh, wants to react and, and, and sees the world. And you just have comedians who are now put into positions where if other people aren't saying something, they're the ones who feel like they must speak truth to power, which has always been a comedian's job. Should the dinner have had a comedian then, even though the president wasn't there to roast the press? I think the dinner can do whatever it wants. Comedians yeah. don't need this dinner. There's plenty of clubs out there that are called comedy clubs that they can go to. <laughs> I, I don't think the dinner should have from the outside, it looks a little bit like they kowtowed to a president who says, we don't want to be made fun of. And I think when a dinner like that invites comedians to come to it, like there's a certain expectation from the comedian's point of view to speak to the people in the room, call mm -hmm. out what they see as potential BS. And I think comedians have done that in the past. And mm -hmm. so if you don't want that, you don't have to have it. Just don't be surprised when it happens. When it happens. Uh, tell me about what you learned on stage with the Clintons last night, because uh, I heard Hillary Clinton talking with you about uh, Russian interference and other serious topics. She was warning that candidates in 2020 need to be taking Russian meddling seriously. 100%. I think uh, she has some experience with that. But we, there, there's not enough reaction. I think the Clintons definitely spoke to that idea that like uh, the alarm bells have gone off, but I don't think uh, the fire folks have uh, gone to the fire yet. And so there definitely needs to be more attention there. We talked about a lot of topics. We talked about um, the, the recent shooting that took place and how Democrats need to focus a little bit more on guns and make that an issue, something that she did with her campaign. Uh, we had a lively discussion about all sorts of things, about comedy, about life, about love. I mean, and, that's just And beforehand, you also had an interesting uh, moment with her and Bill Clinton where you convinced her to read part of the Mueller report. Let's let's watch a little bit of this. The president slumped back in his chair and said, oh my God, this is terrible. This is the end of my presidency. I'm Waiting. I'd listen to that audio book. Yeah, okay. Oh, wait, wait, are you really going to make an audio book? What are you doing? Well, we, you know, we got that idea. We were looking at some crowdsourcing ideas, and she seemed really compelled. I, I think it was <laughs> cathartic for her. I think it was cathartic for a lot of people to hear Hillary Clinton read the Mueller report. I would listen to it. You would listen to it? I would listen to it. So you have this new show. It's premiering on Comedy Central in a couple of weeks. You are taking on some really serious issues. And again, it's an example of using comedy, as you were saying, uh, to address issues in the country. At one point you were arrested? What, what happened? I was arrested. Uh, this, this series has me go out into the world, kind of the front lines of American activism. And I went down to a school in Georgia, uh, or, or called an un, it's called Freedom University. It's a bunch of undocumented students, DACA students, who are unable to go to public colleges in Georgia. Mm. Um, they don't have a voice. And I was put in a position where I could, uh, I could speak up for them. And that took me to jail, Fulton County Jail, um, 12 hours. The strip search thing is true, uh, but I think, you know, in this day and age, there are a lot of people, sadly, under the Trump regime who don't have a voice. And if you have the opportunity where there's some cameras around, you can get some attention. Mm. I think that's a good thing.